All right, let's now talk about webhooks. What is a webhook? You can see an example of one here, Zapier to Slack. What I wanted to achieve is that when a new deal is added or when any changes are made to a potential, I wanted to update that in my Slack channel. What you can do is via a webhook, you can interact with another API. Essentially, you've got Zoho CRM. When something happens in Zoho CRM, you can notify another service. That notification is called a webhook. Essentially, Zoho is sending data to, in this case, Zapier, which will then communicate with Slack. It isn't always going to be that way. You would have another service that you can configure. Essentially, you'll do it quite often. If you're not a programmer, the only time you're going to be using webhooks is if you're using a service like Zapier or WebMerge can also handle webhooks. If you are a programmer, then webhooks open up a lot of extra power. Basically, whenever an action is triggered, you can then call your own API in real time. And the great thing about that is rather than having to pull the Zoho CRM API and check whether something has changed, which would be very inefficient, you get notified right away as soon as the change that you're interested in has happened. In this case, as soon as the stage has changed, I'm pretty sure. Let's go back and we'll look at what triggers this webhook. Here, create or edit. Basically, any time something changes with a potential or if a new one is made, it will immediately send that to Zapier. If you have your own service, if you're a programmer, you can set it up so that whenever a action happens that you're interested in, you might want to, for example, synchronize your own database with the data in Zoho CRM. So whenever a lead is changed, edited or created, it will then call your webhook and the API on the other end will put all of the details about that lead into your own database table. There are a lot of possibilities that it opens up. One other thing that I've found webhooks useful for is that if you or your client has a low budget and you don't want to pay for enterprise edition to have powerful automation, you can actually, I think with webhooks you get that at the lower pricing packages. I had one client that was quite budget conscience, conscious and they asked me to use webhooks for that reason. Let's have a look. I need the detailed pair plans. Yeah, you get it from professional edition is 20 bucks a month versus 35 dollars a month for that reason webhooks can be a compelling use case rather than using custom functions which you'll need enterprise edition you can do pretty much well definitely all of the same things with a webhook that you can do with a custom function and you might actually prefer that because if you don't want to have to learn another programming language you can use Node.js or PHP or .NET. There are a number of SDKs that can interact with the Zoho CRM API so that you don't have to learn Deluge.